and mature drivers defined as an individual over the age of 55. And here in Pennsylvania, those mature drivers make up nearly 20% of the people and motorists you see here out on these roads. So it's no surprise that PennDOT is kicking up their efforts in making safety a top priority in our area. The owner believes this vandalism was done sometime late last night and in the owner's two month short history here, he tells us he's never seen any damage done to his property. The destruction to this property has the Alter Street community wondering who could commit such a shameful act. And they're even more shocked considering this church went through renovations just in the spring. No secret, the Yankees desperately need his offense back, who are struggling offensively and especially at that shortstop position. If Jeter returns after the All-Star break, he'll be a nice addition to the Yankees team, who's already five games behind Boston in the ALE standings. Mr. Velez tells News 13 that his house will be condemned sometime today. Now, Mr. Velez also telling News 13 that his house is indeed in livable condition despite his landlord not paying his water bill dating back to last year. The NHL lockout is officially over and it has many players, fans and coaches rejoicing. However, this isn't about players and coaches missing paychecks or fans missing the game they love. This is about businesses being hit with the brutal effects of the lockout. Chris Kopak believes that Hazleton has a better than average chance of winning this appeal. Their funds drop from fifty to twenty thousand dollars, but according to the mayor, twenty thousand dollars is all they'll need to fund this appeal. The vandalizers who committed this Black Creek Township Act got away with six feet worth of hacking. As you can see, they were unable to make it to the top. They got away pretty good, but not good enough. Black Creek will have a new tree donated this Saturday at 12 o'clock. Holding an event like this may be crucial when it comes to keeping bullying out of schools, considering statistics show that 77% of students have been bullied before entering middle school. The winner of the party in the Pocono 400s will have various obstacles to overcome. Besides the fact that this racetrack is designed like a triangle, they recently just got done adding new additions that will make this track even more challenging for the drivers. What's happening on this chilly Thursday afternoon? I'm Mike Madry in place of Fred Barletta. If there's a secret to achieving success in sports, the Crestwood girls field hockey coach Elveta Gemski has had that secret ingredient. The Crestwood football squad started off scorching last season. They lost their opener against Berwick only to rattle off six straight wins. The Comets can only hope they start off as strong as last season. The only thing they would probably like to do differently is finish off teams heading down the stretch. The weather already cooling down in August, you can feel it in the air. With yesterday's cool breeze, it just felt like football was on the way. And the wait is almost over, 21 days until the NFL season kicks off. However, even closer until high school football rolls right around the corner. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on News 13 Sports. I'm Mike Madry filling in for Fred Barletta. Well, really, where to start today? So many exciting finishes in professional sports, and I guess if you're a Boston fan, most of that excitement came your way between the Red Sox and Patriots. Yesterday, the Red Cross will need 41,000 blood donations, considering every two seconds someone needs blood. So to help bring in that expected total, the American Red Cross will be holding a blood drive here on campus. On October 14th, the Red Cross will be in the enclosed area of the cafeteria. The event's theme is geared towards Halloween, and there are free drinks and snacks to anyone who donates. The Red Cross will be here here from 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. on that Monday. Well, hope everyone is staying cool in this scorching NEPA weather. And another man who's looking to stay cool in NEPA is Alex Rodriguez. Well, the Lady Cougar softball team has surely had a memorable season, not to mention only one loss during their campaign. They haven't shied away from drama the whole season, and especially in this do-or-die situation they've been in. Wednesday night was the same story up against Williamsport. One thing's for sure, the Lady Cougar softball team sure loves drama. Although he only played five innings in last night's matchup, he got plenty of looks at the plate. Bishop Guilfoyle, 45-40. Meanwhile, boys double-A action, two teams, local teams advancing, Holy Cross and Beaver Falls set to face off in Hershey. Holy Cross knocking off Trinity at Martall. Both teams should really compete for the state title. Going to be a good one.